Hello everyone, this is Tyler coming to you from THA Coffee. Today I am going to present on a topic that I think many people out there question, and that is what is the difference between ground coffee and instant coffee? So um, let's um, first get into a few things, and that's uh, um, the difference between these two coffees, um, it's, it's more... Um, subtle than most people think. Some people actually believe that instant coffee is not the same. It's not real coffee, which is wrong. Instant coffee is just as real as brewed coffee. And the slight difference in this is just um, the fact that with instant coffee, um, when it's prepped in a factory, there's this quick drying process or it's freeze dried, which is generally the better of the two. Now, the other um, big factor also is the the type of coffee used, the the raw coffee beans. Um, and this is um, actually where the most difference in in flavor and overall composition occurs. Okay, so um, to compare, um, instant coffee versus ground coffee. Okay, time and simplicity. Instant coffee has the edge here because instant coffee can be prepared in a matter of seconds. All someone has to do, to do is take the coffee grounds and mix them in, or granules and put them in hot water, combine them, and bam, you're ready to go. Now, with ground coffee, it's generally not as simple, but this also is changing to some degree with the coffee capsules and some of the newer coffee technologies coming out. Now, with instinct, with a, um, the main type of... Um, coffee or brewed coffees that people generally drink is um, is with a coffee maker and a filter or with a French press, which I, is the one that I prefer. I think the French press just produces a much more, um, it has a more full body and it also retains the, um, the oils and some of the other flavors that I think are often filtered out with a normal coffee maker. Now, one thing to remember here is that most coffee makers actually, um, or most like um, fancier coffee drinks like mocha, cappuccino, frappuccino, actually require a um, traditional um, coffee brewing method with a filter like a coffee machine. Um, as the, the oils that are encapsulated in a French press will actually overpower a traditional coffee, um, one of those um, traditional coffee drinks such as frappuccino, latte, cappuccino, etc. Now the next thing is waste. Um, no byproduct with instant coffee. On the other hand, with um, with a coffee maker or a French press brewed coffee, you always have to typically pitch the used coffee beans and also clean the equipment. And um, it's not too complicated, but for um for people that are maybe more eco conscious um they would be um most benefited by finding a a recycling method where the the beans are um used uh, appropriately or the the used beans okay now the next thing and I think this is the most important thing is the flavor um as I um slightly alluded to earlier. The flavor is um, quite distinctive between fresh brew and instant coffee. And um, for many people who e even um, hardly drink coffee can usually tell the difference. Now, a fresh brew coffee generally has a more full and subtle flavor, and it also retains those oils better, um, which adds a um, dimension that um, is, it, it's, for for a coffee lover, they they're always going to prefer this type of coffee. Now, on the other hand, with um with instant coffee, because they use the robusta bean, unlike um, traditional coffee, which uses the arabica bean, there's um quite a difference. In the robusta bean, is a cheaper bean. Um, it's generally more bitter, and it's um. But this is the kind of bean that's um, th that's better to produce the instant coffee. Now, some major coffee brands out there, such as 
Cafe Altura or um, Bolshida or Bushido actually are developing these these um, technology based um, freeze dry instant coffees that are producing flavors that are on par with the uh, high quality fresh brew coffee. So there's a lot of stride being made here to produce a coffee that um, instant coffee that rivals a fresh brew coffee. Now, in terms of the health benefits, virtually the same. Antioxidants for fresh brew coffee and instant coffee are basically identical. Um, now, caffeine, on the other hand, um, for instant coffee, the caffeine content is usually half of what um, fresh brew, brewed coffee contains. Now, obviously, the um, the other thing is is the ritual. Um, the coffee making ritual is something that I think most aficionados um, just absolutely love in the morning. It's something they look forward to when they wake up, um, whether it's making the French press or um, using the fancy coffee maker or espresso machine, whatever it may be. Um, there's just um, the, this overall um, emotion that occurs when um, this when this um, process occurs in the morning. Now, the next thing is the cost. Instant coffee, by and large, is cheaper um, than than fresh brewed coffee. Now. This is accounting for if someone goes to the store, buys the coffee beans, and then um, is making coffee on a daily or buy, on um, multiple times a day. The basis um, for making um, home brew coffee is going to be cheaper in most cases than instant coffee. But there are exceptions to that because one can find brewed coffee or um, brewed coffee beans for brew coffee that are quite inexpensive. And conversely, you could also find instant coffee beans, um, these premium instant coffees that would far exceed the price of a of a fresh brew coffee. So um, there, there's kind of um, di different perspectives here. Now, the, the main thing is just going out there and, um, and, and enjoying it. And um, the last thing is that in most of the world, um, Instant coffee is is by by far the most consumed coffee, whereas fresh brewed coffee, w with the exception of a few countries such as North America, Canada, and some more developed European countries in Australia, are are actually probably the only countries where there's a much higher uh, predisposition for fresh brewed coffee, and that's. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and please subscribe and like. Thank you.